1993. <laughs> I'm going to say it was after you guys saw Rambo, but before Savage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say six dates. Who's right? You're all wrong. First date? No. No, that was just a knob job. Well, give me, give me the answer. <laughs> no, that was a knobber? Yeah, that was a knobber. I think we were beyond... I ripped a couple of her dreads out. I think we were around beyond 10. Oh, wow. Yo. Wow. What's wrong with you, Jimmy? <laughs> it, look, she, you know, I think she wanted it earlier, but I'm like, look, I'm not that type of guy. <laughs> Do you think she yeah. wanted it earlier, but she had to make sure you... No, were I don't think sincere? so. Because uh, we said we wanted to be friends first. Right. I wasn't sure I was wanting to get back in another relationship. Right. You know, after what happened, I no, needed you some... No, you came off... Is it hard dating a guy who went through what Jimmy did? Mm. He, the death of his girlfriend and all of that? No, he's amazingly okay. He is? Yeah. Well, you know, I work on myself every day, you know, on it and stuff. What so. do you mean you work on yourself? Well, you know, I still go to therapy. I, oh, you yeah, know, do yeah. all that stuff, books and support groups and stuff. So, you but, know. But there must have been heavy making out before this sex occurred. <clears throat> In other words, you, do, you don't just jump into the sack. I would imagine there was much tongue kissing and feeling of the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly squeezing of the penis. <laughs> Through the pants, oh, of course. Really? A screw, yeah. I mean, uh, when did you have your first kiss? First kiss. Uh, it's like the fourth date. Fourth <laughs> date. Really? Is that true? I'm trying to think. Yeah. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Uh, yeah? All right. Write down your answer. All right. This is simple for you, Robin. Let's see if Jimmy really knows <laughs> you. simple This for one's me? a simple one for you. What's Robin's bra size? Oh, jeez. He doesn't on. know that. But she does. Write down your answer. He doesn't know that. Why but would he know that? Guess. He hasn't had to buy me a bra. Well, I wish we could have a real conversation. I want to know what it was like when he got his hands on those things the first time. <laughs> Every guy has wondered about that. <laughs> Although I did read it on his blog. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't tell me it was blogging. Jimmy, what did you write? I put 38 triple D. <laughs> 38 triple D. Robin, what are you? Good guess. A 36 double D. Double yeah. D. Right, not bad. Right. All right. All right. That, that's something you probably wouldn't know. All right. I really want you to match once. I want you to match once. Oh, there's Robin's breast. Yes, thank you. Oh, jeez. Take that down. <laughs> Take that. Those look like... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, Robin, we'll see how well you know Jimmy with this one. Get this one right. All right. If you don't get this one, then you guys aren't meant for each other. All right, All right very good. Here we good. go. All right? Now we'll be able to tell something. Write this down. Who is Jim's favorite comedian? His favorite... You should oh. know that. The man's in the... Co- don't. Right, just just write, it down. write it down. Write it down. If you don't know that... I mean, the guy's a comedian. All right. All right. Let's How see. do you spell Govern Alley? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. What'd you write down? Andrew Dice Clay. Andrew Dice Clay. Wow. Very good. All right. Now we'll <laughs> get to him. But that means she knows you. But do you know her? <laughs> do guys ever know anyone? <laughs> well, I want, I, want, I want you to be with a man who knows you. I'm going to think of something. Hickory, dickory, stop. <laughs> Let me think. Let me think. Okay. Here we go. See how well you you know Robin, and Robin knows you. What's Robin's most irritating habit? How can I tell what my most irritating you habit is? You know what it is. Oh, jeez. Write it down. What is Robin's most irritating habit? You might have to go to SFN for this. I have to know my own irritating habit. You know you're irritating habit. <laughs> Jimmy, what is it? What'd you write down? I didn't write anything because I don't... <laughs> you're not irritated? She no, but that is, that's a guy that's being smart. You're no, being no, a it's guy. not. I don't. You're being a fucking guy now. <laughs> that's playing it smart. I want, you're playing a game with her. She's got to have one irritating habit. <laughs> Come on. She's too right, beautiful. <laughs> Her beauty is irritating me. Sometimes I think she's too smart. <laughs> too articulate. Her vagina's too tight. <laughs> I can barely get in. It's so young and fresh. Sometimes I think she's too sweet and kind. <laughs> <laughs> she cares. <laughs> All, right. All right. I feel girls' night out used. Robin, her. what did you write down? What is your most irritating habit? Does anyone remember laughter? You're laughing. <laughs> what did you write? <laughs> what did you write? I re- <laughs> All right, so you guys tell me I'm pussy whipped. Obviously, I, maybe our stories are a little long. <laughs> <laughs> wow. so now I'm gonna get shit for that because you, you guys. You are, fuck. man. Yeah, I know. Before, 
<laughs> Before I'm a pussy, now I say something. No, you guys are getting shit for at it. At dinner, you know what? This is a Robin typical broad. Perfect. Typical broad. Next time at dinner, you're going to say how you doing, and she's going to go, well, I don't want to bore you. Oh, I've, I've obviously, <laughs> you know me. Yeah, yeah. You better shut your you mouth, You know Robin. me better. Hey, Robin, how about cooling it on the stories? I'm trying. There you go. See, now I thought she was going to write that. That's why I wrote it. I sure, see. sure, sure. All right, here, you got to get... In for it. Hey, Robin, right, I one. got time to kill. Why don't you I tell me about your day? Last oh. one. Now last one. Last one. Robin, <laughs> what will Jimmy say is your most attractive physical uh, thing? And Jimmy, write down what is Robin's most attractive physical now I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pointing my chest. Why are you carrying on what like is your favorite, How would I know that? What is your favorite physical feature on Robin? What will Jimmy say, Robin? Let's see if you two have a connection. I have no idea. Well, what do you think Jimmy's going to say is your favorite his favorite physical part of you. And How do you his- spell labia? <laughs> <laughs> it's with an L. Major or minor? <laughs> L to the A, B to the whiz out. <laughs> All right, Robin, what did you write down? Let him talk first. Then did you I'll write something you, down? I wrote something All down. Right, what do you got? Face. Face. Oh. <laughs> what did you write? Oh, wow. Okay, let's compromise. Clint. <laughs> <laughs> well, you two have a lot to learn about each other. You two have a lot to learn about I each other. I told you we don't know each other that well. Not that well. Well, this is very exciting. Jimmy is uh, on tour all over the place. They hardly have time to know each other. <laughs> That's right. I don't know what's going on. I'd love an answer to the lube question. <laughs> But what can I tell you? Here's Mary. No Ann. lube. Mary Ann. There you go. <laughs> really? No, no lube. lube. Jim, Jim, I knew congratulations. It. Ever since you and Robin got together, she's like a kid in a candy store, Jim. But I do have a serious question. <laughs> Have you ever titty fucked those fun bears mm. and you throw over? Whoa, Whoa. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. The, the, Whoa. You're not supposed to ask that question. Oh. Can I tell you something? It's a funny question, but I would say yes. I would too, Howard. I would absolutely say. You know what? Although Jimmy's a smart guy, I'll tell you, I admire him. He's a smart guy. He would know that might even disturb Robin on some level. Can I say one That, in other words, a lot of guys, Jimmy's probably, if I was dating Robin, I'd say, you know, a lot of guys probably spend a lot of time on her titties because guys love that. I'm going to almost ignore those titties and not act like they're any big deal. And, and go right for the Blumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you cracked a smile when I said it. I think I got your game plan down, don't I? You, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. I haven't titty fucked at Marianne. <laughs> 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 I plan to. Nor will he ever. <laughs> what do you mean? You would go be up for that if he did it. my stories are too fucking long. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll do it while you tell so long if I'm fucking you in the tits. <laughs> I'll do it while you're telling a st- long story. Keep your busy. <laughs> How about some oral? Shut the fuck up. How is it much more in love than they're letting on? Yes. I even asked you. lie to me. How I dare you. I what do you mean? <laughs> Have you asked him if your stories are too I long? I said once, I think I'm too long-winded. And he goes, no, no, no. Your stories are interesting. Oh, what do you say to him? Can I go back to sleep? <laughs> that's, that's as cliche as a chick asking if she looks fat in a dress. Yeah, no but, way. Did Robin give you every detail? Is that the problem? No, no, but because I remember her saying that my story is too long when then I said no so that's what I thought she was going to write right, but you love the laugh I don't story. mind the laugh See, now if I would have said the laugh she would have said oh you don't like my laugh so then she wouldn't laugh anymore Comics, Robin, any comic who's ever done this show knows Robin's laugh is a savior at times <laughs> well I love Robin's laugh yeah I mean Robin's laugh has made me a, a career because I feel like I'm funny when I'm around her absolutely oh, I'm not necessarily funny I just feel like I'm funny <laughs> but the question was what irritates so if she if I were to put laugh and she put laugh then she'd be like oh so you don't like my laugh so I was match. fucked either way. Is it hard dating Robin from the point of view that on some level you have to know she's probably most in love with me after all? Well, yeah, I mean, Do I, you I, feel I, that? Maybe, you feel I think that, that, Robin that Robin maybe she's like, me? all right, he's got curly hair, he's funny, he's tall. <laughs> no, am I a secret part of the relationship? In other words, <laughs> am I always Uh-oh, there? Sal am I always up. there? Oh, here we go. Are am you I, there? Yeah, am I always mm. on your mind, in other words, because you know I am the man that Robin worships. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Now, do you really think, though, like, if you weren't dating Beth and she was single and you were single, that 
she would want you. Yes. Deep down, definitely. Yes, yes. I do think that. Yeah. I but do. you think that she would be into your lifestyle of staying home and going no, to bed at 8.30? She would kill me in a week. And not travel? <laughs> she would hate my fucking guts. I'm the most miserable son of a bitch on the planet. I don't even know. I, I can't even imagine how anybody can put up with my horror story. It's a nightmare. Yes, Sal, what do you want to say? Quick question. Love you both. Very happy for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am. I'm, I'm uh, really. You're, you're you're what the you, fuck are you wanting? You're turning want. purple. You're <laughs> Sal, you're my friend. You're my friend. And as a friend, I want to ask you one question. Be serious. I am. And ask it in a serious manner. Could you mouth. please tell me in the audience, what are the size of Robin's areolas? <laughs> but he's not going to say that. That's well, I do. Private. I have some coins. Oh, no, he's got that's no wrong. Problems. He's not going to do the portrayal. <laughs> Don't hand. bring your paycheck in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> CD? It's a CD. It's a CD. It's a, their size is a CD. Right. Won't if say you it, had Jim? a serious question, that would be fun. But instead, you're asking something he's not comfortable with. All right, go ahead. Oh now, boy. here's how you ask Here the question. Goes Gary no, this, is, this, is, um, <laughs> this has nothing to do with sex, actually. This is So, how does it work with you guys financially? Meaning, you go away, right? How do you pay for the plane tickets? How do you pay for the hotel? Who pays for dinner? How does that whole <laughs> Good thing question. work? Good question. Uh, it, we both pay. I mean, I usually pay for... She pays for the dinner, and then on the way home, I'll pay for the tolls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like eight bucks to go through the tunnel now. <laughs> the guy always has to pay, right? It doesn't matter how wealthy... Robin's a wealthy woman. There's no question about wealthy, it. No, I pay for dinner. Yeah, I pay you for the dinners. You always pay for yeah. the dinner, yeah. Okay, all right. And then we go away. Like, I paid for one trip, then she... Paid for the other one. But wait a second. For instance, when okay, you go away, you're covering you the uh, hot stone massage or what? <laughs> <laughs> but I know Robin d doesn't like to fly unless it's first class. So do you guys always fly first class? Yeah. And you pay for that? Well, yeah. I mean, I can get. Uh, I got frequent flyer miles. I can get upgrades to first class. Gonna so, yeah. I mean, we're gonna. If she's gonna be with me, we're going in first class. Why so. no expensive gifts so far? I I know you came on her necklace, but uh, oh, what? you told us that. Oh, that's right. That was Fred. That's right. <laughs> No, no. I'm saying, um, she was like, how did you know that? I, know, I, was like, I thought you threw that one away. <laughs> what, uh, what, are you going to buy her expensive jewelry at some point or some kind of jewelry to, to cement the relationship? In other words, this is what I want you to wear, something of mine. Are you ever going to wish consider I'm sure it? I will. You will. It's too early for that. It might be. I mean, yeah. I don't know, you know. Right. You don't want to blow it that blow that kind of stuff out of the box right away. You got to kind of work up to that. Howard, I'm still here. Oh, great. <laughs> I know you are. Why? You know, it's the small things. When my husband brings me a cup of coffee, I'm like thrilled. It doesn't need to be a big piece of jewelry. But do you ever get her like her favorite liquid drink, uh, Jim? <laughs> do I what? Like, like, my favorite liquid drink. Yeah. Well, did you, when you go out to dinner, she must be very inexpensive because she hardly eats now. Well, well, now, yes, she doesn't eat, which is great. So I'm right. going to ask her, let's go to the Four Seasons. I already made reservations. <laughs> so that's really sweetie. I go, I got a table right by the window. Oh, you can't go? Does her dieting annoy you with this liquid no. diet? And, the, and when she's constantly making these drinks and these, I see a big Concoction. container, concoctions of yellow <laughs> liquid. I mean, No, she wants to be healthy. Right. I'm like, I'm, yeah. But you're not getting caught up. You're not that. No, I, I'm not on like this whole like vitamin plan. I'm into all health stuff too. So Are you gonna do we animals? got that in common. Did you start doing the animals no. like she does? You will not go that far. Yeah, I will tell you what swayed me. All right. About One Jim? of the big, big things, yeah. That My you bulge. love about him? <laughs> <laughs> what, that you love about him? <laughs> I said that swayed me. That made okay. me think, hey, maybe I ought to take him seriously. Go ahead. Uh, I think it was... I held in my gas. Yeah. <laughs> when he started doing well, leech therapy? Well, I didn't doing that. <laughs> they like Demi Moore? Yeah, he started doing I like doing turpentine baths. Turpentine baths. <laughs> and turpentine baths. What made you think that he might be a serious contender for your heart? We were going to go see a movie and have dinner, and he said, I did some research, so you'll be a I found some restaurants I think you can eat at. Yeah. Mm. A true sign of romance. <laughs> hey, Jim, is. what kind of perfume does Robin wear? Because I've been walking on this all night. i got a hundred questions. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know that. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? No, he doesn't know that. No guy knows that shit. He just as long as she smells good, he's mm -hmm. fine. I got a guy question. For oh Jim. God! <laughs> how, big yeah. how big is Jim's car? <laughs> Can I see it? Can I look at his well, that's, balls? That's a question for Robin. Uh, now, uh, how, what is Robin's shaving pattern down there? <laughs> Looks like a crop circle. <laughs> Would you mind letting us that's know? That's right. It looks like aliens well, have landed. <laughs> I mean, that's silly. I mean, he's going to keep something. I'm started. afraid, Richard, you're going to have to find that. Robin told you she shaves it, but not completely. She has a little bit of oh, hair. Landing she's not a very hairy woman. 
Actually, she has my initials carved. Ah. That's right. That's H- right. Big H S. <laughs> also, Absolutely. also, real quick, Jim has uh, Robin met Crack Finger yet? Your best friend? <laughs> no, he hasn't. She hasn't yeah, met why, Tony. That's a good question. Why has Robin not met guys like Crack Finger and stuff like that? Well, she's Are met my friend Don Harry? Jameson, who's in the green room. You know okay. Don? Yeah, yeah sure. he's a friend of mine. But right. uh, he hasn't. I don't hang out with him that much. Crack Finger. All right. <laughs> Is Crack Finger here in this area? Oh. Crack Finger's in New Jersey. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh yeah, so he's still, he was in the Midwest. I still hang. Out. He's one of my best friends. I, I, what is? Why do they call him Crack Finger again? Because when people pass out of parties, he sticks his finger in his ass, <laughs> and it smells really bad. He yeah. puts. It, he smells it first. He's like, oh my god! And then he just puts it on the people's noses until they wake up. <laughs> it's like a smell. And, so, and then if they don't wake up, he rubs it in their lips. Uh, oh, my no. dream. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. I, I mean, can't wait to meet him. <laughs> do you have a key? To, do you have a key to Robin's place? No. No. I have a drawer. Do you have a drawer in her place? <clears throat> no. Does she have a drawer in your place? No. Hmm. So what do you sleep all to get up very early and leave all disheveled? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, I just bring clothes with me in a little suitcase. <clears throat> right. Now we'll bring, crack- move in with a suitcase. <laughs> yeah. Will Crackfinger be saying a few words at the Rainbow Room event? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, this is so exciting. You know what? I feel good for you, too. I'll tell you why. I, I get a great vibe I'm from I'm happy, him. too. I yeah, well, I'll tell you why I'm happy. Because you're now coming out in the open. There's, you know, enough of the silence. And Robin, if you don't use KY with Jimmy, be proud of it. Mm. Don't be ashamed. Be proud. This is a woman who thought that she would be dry. Her well had run dry. And now, because <laughs> of you, you've made her whole again. And I, I thank you for that, as a friend. And Robin. I believe, Robin, you don't want to be a spinster. You don't want to grow old alone, and you have a nice companion now. <laughs> and, Jimmy, you can let out a fart now. Don't be so uptight. Oh, I think mm-hmm. it would kill me, don't you? <laughs> no, nah, look, I just, I be respectful around women, you know. I'll do him around Artie. He enjoys him. <laughs> James, you're on Final the man. Go ahead. What, one last question, and, and uh, we'll move well, on. Well, Artie said he had a question to ask. Oh, yes, Artie. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to ask... Uh, if I could go out and ask Jason to get me some ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> that was the question? No, well, I said... Uh, uh, what do you think, Artie? Now that you've heard them together, you hear them interacting as a couple. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Do you think this is the real deal? Yeah, I actually... I never thought it wasn't, but after today, like, all, in all seriousness, I get a great sort of vibe from them. They seem like a very happy couple. I, yes. I don't know. They do. Until seem- I found out he didn't like my stories. Well... <laughs> Yeah. You guys killed me with that one. But have you, you ever see, smelled? Have you ever healthy that, that's coming have out? Have you ever smelled coffee coming out of her ass? <laughs> oh. <laughs> It, yeah, one day I did smell coffee, and I'm like, she goes, no, I don't even drink it anymore. I'm like, I, I just let it go. You knew something was going on. Okay, no, but she doesn't, And she doesn't tell me what to do, which everyone thinks she does. Right. Like, she never told me don't do miserable men anymore because I'm not miserable. Right. She would never say that, and I wouldn't date somebody that would tell me that. Right. No, I understand. You no, know, I, so I know. that's, yeah, she has nothing to do with no, that. No, it seems like a very nice thing that you two have. I'm very happy for you. I really am, because yeah, I know they, you were very upset, Jimmy. I mean, you went through a lot emotionally, and Robin has emotionally been through the mill. Uh, there's no, Jeez, again, knows. I, well, I'm true. characterized by, uh, by some strange... By a maniac. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, but I think no. we might have met at the right time in our lives. I think so. You know? I think so. I think you're both ready. See, that's what I think. Having known Jim for a while, I think after the tragedy he went through, obviously after the pain went away, I think he used that to to find a better space in life. I mean, am I right about that, Jim? Yeah, when you go through something like that, it completely changes you as a person. And it's he gonna, could not... To you know me, what I mean? Three yeah. years ago, I would have never thought about... You know, being where she would have never been interested, and I wasn't at a place where she would be interested in me. But, well, you, you know, remember, Jim, a few months after that, the first gig we did together was down in Miami, and we had two shows, and in between shows we talked about it, and I couldn't believe how good he was reacting. Like, he did everything healthy you think mm-hmm. a human being should do mm-hmm. after that, and I was very impressed by it. Like, he, he tackled the therapy part of it, and... and, and really got happy in a, in a healthy way. I right, write yeah. this down, Robin, right now. What is Jimmy's mother's name? Jimmy, don't oh, say anything. Oh. Write it down. Ooh. I want to just see. And then, Jimmy, you're going to get the next question. I'm trying to remember. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jimmy, see if you can tell me Robin's mother's mm. name. Now, <clears throat> shh, don't say anything. All right, Robin, what is Jimmy's mother's name? Diane. All right. Now, Jimmy, what is Robin's mother's name? Louise. Is it Louise? Yeah. Wow. Wow. And it's Diane. And it is Diane. I was going to say, Jim, what do you have for your mother's name? (laughs) Wow. All right. Now we're on to something. Oh, boy. That that proves a lot. Oh, it does to me. If he had gotten that one wrong, forget it. I would have told you break up now. (laughs) 
But what I was trying to get at, Jim, do you think that you've changed for the better in the last couple of years as a person? Because I, I, I think you have. Yeah, I, I, I had to, yeah. you know. Or either I don't deal with what I went through and then I deal with it 10, 15 years down the road. And I'm just mm-hmm. self-destructive over the next you know, part of my life. But no, I just dealt with it head on. Right. You know, it's the only way. It's, I'm still dealing with it. It's still tough. It's 15 months. Can't Not easy. Till, I can't wait till Louise and Diane meet. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be there for that. Go ahead, James, quickly. I, 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 I'm running out of time and we could do this for hours. Hey, now. Yeah, hey. Uh, I got to get an honest answer out of Jim. One to ten. How is Robin at a good old blowy? Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, I One to ten. One to ten, Jim. Robin, you want to <laughs> answer that? <laughs> How would I know? <laughs> Robin wants to be good at that so bad. I got a Here feeling. Go. I got a feeling only the stories are too long. I bet, I'll tell you what. I bet those don't last too long. I bet you the stories go on and on, but I bet you the blame should give you a couple of seconds. I think we need to find a happy medium there with the she stories ain't getting kill shorter. Herself, uh, getting you off, Robin. If a guy doesn't come too fast for you when you're blowing him, you kind of give up, right? And then you say, "Just fuck me already," right? Uh, that could happen. Yeah, I don't see you as uh, you know really putting in the time and energy. Yet. I like the blowjob as like a pre a preamble mm. to actual sex. You know, like, but then you don't want to kiss the broad. <laughs> <laughs> has, uh, has, uh, have you read Robin's book? No, oh, I did read it back in the day when right. she first released you it. Yeah, reread it. Don't reread. It. <laughs> Boy, the stories in there are long. All right, huh? Bob Levy, you're the last to go. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> I'd like to say how happy I am for the kids uh, dating. And also, did you eat her ass yet, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, enough of that, Bob. Oh, my God. Uh, no, I haven't. I, I, I'll answer that Jimmy, one. Jimmy, how is the career going? I the feel career's going great. I feel this is uh, uh, the time of Jim Florentine. I really do. It's uh, it's building nice. I got, you know, CD. I got, I'm got. i writing two books. This is a new I got CD. a one-man show. Yeah, this is a new... I've been working on a one-man show. I got all now, what, stuff How is a one-man show different than the stand-up comedy? It's going to be more personal stuff. More, you know, it's not going to be just set-up joke, punchline. You know, it's right. going to be a lot of what the tragedy I went through and get molested when I was younger and stuff. You so were throwing, molested when you were? Well, the we guy told with, that story here. Once. With the wrestling yeah, pictures. Yeah. You know, the guy would give me... He'd ask me if I wanted a picture and I'd give him a kiss in the cheek. I still can't get over that. Look, he had Roddy I like Piper. Robin, I like Robin's laughing at it. A picture of Piper's pit is worth a kiss in the cheek to a guy. At 14, I, did, I thought so. What happened? You blew the dude? I didn't blow him. No, he no. put his hand on my pants. And, no. And then he and then he got and I freaked out. So he goes, "Look, I'll give you the whole album if you don't say anything." So I took the whole album from him. I waited about a half hour. Then I told everybody. So I still got the album. Yeah. Good for you. You're smart. That's yeah, right. yeah, I do remember that. Story. Yeah, it's a very sensitive. I think he's still he in prison. Sat the guy. On the guy's lap to watch the wrestling matches. He had front row. He's like, "You want you, you got to sit on my lap." I'm like, "Okay." Oh my God, how old were you? Yeah, I was 14. <laughs> Front row at a wrestling match, you th- the pedophile uh, bell believe, should be ringing. I can't 14. believe I'm dating the guy who's sitting <laughs> right. on front row seats be, at a wrestling yeah, 14's match. 14's a little old to be falling for that one. Yeah, should have seen what I did for Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> but we were up in the nosebleeds, and he came up. He goes, you guys want to sit in the front? We go, yeah. So he brought us up there, and then we got there. He goes, you're going to have to sit on my lap. I'm oh, like, what? Well, he's like, there's only one seat. I'm Ooh. like, did you feel his boner like hitting into your No, ass? but he did nibble on my ear at one point. Oh! He did, yeah, he did, uh, I said, what was oh, that? He goes, oh, I was just watching a match. I'm like, that's fucked up. <laughs> and then I had my, I got up. I realized at that yeah, point. Whenever, my buddy, then my buddy went on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> whenever, King Kong, whenever King Kong Bundy does his avalanche, I like to nibble on an ear. <laughs> so it's going well. You got the CD out. Yeah. And you've got uh, the one-man show. I'm you working got, on that. You got the stand-up comedy going. Mm-hmm. I sh- should be doing a Tonight Show soon, doing stand-up on there. You're doing the Tonight Show? Yeah, it looks oh, like, no yeah, kidding. I got passed to do it. Do you, I've wow. been working on it for about a year and a half. How do you get passed? do that. No well, they just you got to send in tapes, your material. I got to prove the material, so they That's just approved it. That's a big deal. It. Yeah. Yeah, so huge deal. So when is that happening? Do you I don't know. Which, you know, they'll set a date, but I'm approved to do it. So wow, very nice. Congratulations. Yeah, that'll so, be great. Yeah, and then um, I'm working on two books. I'm working on an autobiography, really, which will be part of the one man show. And then me and my buddy Don Jameson uh, writing a book on pranks, all the pranks that we pulled, and then like a how to thing. Yeah. What's oh. the best prank? Yeah, you ever I was pulled? telling him about the Meet the Creeps thing, where you go to the buffet. 
I love Oh, that. yeah, we go to a Chinese buffet, and we just pull our chairs right up to the buffet and start eating <laughs> right from the buffet. <laughs> but you're working slowly. First, you start going up and down to the buffet. Yeah, yeah, we, br- we bring the uh, k- pails that get bring to the beach, the sand pails, <laughs> yeah. and we start filling the food. Because we ask, is this an all-you-can-eat? They're like, yeah, okay. And we brought a big fat guy in a way, like 400 pounds, my friend Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> so we bring him in, and we just keep, we, we're raking it. With a put, pail? Yeah, with the pails, <laughs> with the rakes and the shovels, <laughs> and we're filling it up. Does he eat everything? Oh, yeah, everything, yeah. So in other He's, words, He's not even using the rakes and shovel. He's just pouring in his mouth like this. Like and then eventually you move him right up to the buffet. Yeah, he right. Yeah, there. yeah. And what is the reaction of the people? They're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You can't do that. I go, look, he's really tired. He doesn't want to move back and forth. And they, they leave him there, and he sits there, and he eats. We all did, yeah. And then they, they started calling the cops, and we ran. This woman's like, who does that? This woman in a restaurant. She goes, who raised you people? Uh, and like, we didn't know. I'm surprised, like, these politically correct days, they, they wouldn't just leave the fat guy there. Like, oh, we can't move. Did you hear my uh, offer? You know, I got this new bowling show we're doing on Howard TV. I want you to host it. Yeah, I, I, Doug called me about oh, it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Right. yeah, so what do you, you think he can handle it? I, yeah. Listen, I, let me talk to you about it real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, so we have this new thing on Howard TV. It's hot chicks all in like either, they're either going to be in thong, some of them might be topless, who knows, they're going to bowl. But we're treating the bowling very seriously and I want the show to move along. So while you're an entertaining guy and a funny guy, you got to keep the show moving too. Can't all be jokes. I mean, we want, you know, like Howie Mandel toned it down for Deal or No Deal. Right. I mean, this is a serious bowling show, serious bowling commentary, except it's hot chicks and bowl in high heels. And like the direct be- opposite of Robin with a story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for you, Artie. What do you think? You'd be a good host for that. Yeah, I think I, I, I really want to get into some hosting stuff. Yeah, I was really psyched that he called right, me and cool, did cool. it. All right, yeah, all right. So I think Is I, that okay, I, Robin, yeah. if I don't? Mm. <laughs> Robin, do you, ha- you said you might have a problem because the girls are really super hot. No, I won't have any problem. You will not? No. And what if Jimmy runs off with one of the bowlers? I don't have a problem. You don't have a problem. You no, won't be sad. No, I never have a problem. You would never be sad if Jimmy ran off with one I of the bowlers. I might be a little sad for a second. A second. And then I'll forget. So you're not in love with him. <laughs> Wow. I didn't say that. I might be hurt, but... Uh, this is an overprotection. You're being I, a hard My defense ass. mechanisms are much like yours. It'll be okay. <laughs> wow. I don't believe that for a minute. You know? oh, Thank I'm Jane Harris. I'm going to be devastated. What am I going to do? <laughs> Thank Jane Harris, Jimmy? Thank Jane Harris. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one who killed uh, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Parnauer. Right. <laughs> oh. I got a question, Howard. Yeah. One last question. So if we had like a hot chicken here right now, Robin, and... Yes. and uh, and uh, Artie got up to grab her boobies, and Fred got up to grab her titties, and Jim, Jim got up to grab it. Would there be an issue? Oh, no, there would not be an issue. You would, yeah. be, you would not have not an issue right with now. him grabbing <laughs> I wouldn't grab her fingers. There would be no issue. I don't know him. <laughs> oh. So there is an issue. In other words, for me. You would just say, I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> What if I just grab their ass? <laughs> you can grab anything you want. You're a free man. Jim would read a book if. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what that that mean? chick, that chick looks. You're that right sh- in a way, Robin, because if he is really devoted mm-hmm. to you and in love with you, listen. He'll torture himself. <laughs> it, what he's doing is distancing himself from you if he's grabbing those boobies. And and, and that was exactly what mm-hmm. I was saying. But why would be? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jim Florentino comes and does the show. Uh, but right. why does it have Would to Jim be, that? be able? If Jim, let's say, lost his mind <laughs> and he gave up the best thing in his life, which is, of course, you. Of course. <laughs> what if he wanted to come back on the show? He can come back on the show. And you wouldn't be. You would sit there quietly seething. No. Would why you, would I seethe? All right, Gary, bring the girl in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see Jim Florentine this Thursday night. You're you're a hard ass, aren't you? What are you talking about? I'm no, telling you, how, very I'm a very woman. professional person. Y- you and are, this but show has to go on. Well, Join the club, honey. <laughs> and you told me. <laughs> that's nothing that I would say he can never do the show again for. Right, okay. Well, that's fair enough. Because Jim is a friend of the show. He was here, but he was grandfathered in, so to speak. Whatever that means. That's right. Would you be mad at uh, Jim if he did gay stunts with Richard mm. and Sal? Would you feel strange about that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would you feel would, strange would. about that. Oh, good. Now, what if she so breaks... you haven't lost your mind. What if she breaks up with me? Am I, you know, I going to come back now, on the show? No, that's a whole different story. If she yeah. breaks up with you, she she she, she can't say you can't come on because she maybe broke he up doesn't want to come on. Well, that's his. Yeah, that's that, his, that could that's be it too. To you. <laughs> I might have to go to that's IMIS a- and go after the black chick there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Jim's new comedy LP album CD, whatever you want to call it, "Anger Is a Gift," is available at jimflorentine.com. All new material from Jimmy. Yeah. So, uh, Jimmy, you held up well. I think you two did well. Mm. Um, 
Would have liked to see you match a few more questions, but <laughs> it wasn't bad. It wasn't a disaster. I told you we don't know each other that well. All right. Well, you're getting to know each other, and uh, this was fun. The next time you come in, I want you to answer the KY uh, question. I, I answered. I said no. She does not. You've never seen her use KY. No. He can't wow. see the sleight of hand I'm doing. Do you do a sleight of hand with <laughs> no, him? Mm. So how do you explain this? <laughs> how do you explain this renaissance in your lovemaking? Mm. How do you know it's a renaissance? <laughs> because Lord. you told me that you used to use that stuff. I didn't say it was an all-the-time thing. So you're hot for oh, Jimmy. Boy. Now, do you think if you had sex with her, she she wouldn't need the KY? Yeah. She would, need it. <laughs> she would need it? Yeah. Why is that? Because it would be awkward with us. We've known each other a long time, and she would probably need something to wet her up a little bit. But wouldn't it be like a, a lot of built-up tension that you just... No. No? No, no. She'd need a KY. Trust me. Most women need KY. There's no tension. <laughs> There's no tension. There's no tension. No, I respect you as a friend. I'm not moving in on Robin while you're with me. <laughs> thanks. All right. Um, Jimmy, thanks. You're a good sport. And uh, Robin, you're a lucky woman. And Jimmy, you're a lucky man. That's Howard, I, I also got to say that uh, I, I, I'm not positive yet, but I think the uh, lineup for going to <clears throat> entertain the troops is going to be a banner one. Jimmy, myself, and... I believe Dave Attell and Nick DiPaolo and Gary. Mm. And Are I, you aware that Robin... Has been asked by Artie to go to Iraq no. with you. You are not aware of that. No. How would you feel, and I want you to be honest, mm. if Robin decides to go to Iraq? Now, you were just going with the guys. Right. All of a sudden, Robin now shows up. Does that affect you at all? No, she can come. As long as she keeps her stories down. <laughs> <laughs>